Okay, here's another English learning video and a lot of learners on Facebook and around the world desperately want to speak English fluently. Now in previous videos I've already talked about sentence stress and rhythm in speaking fluently but today I want to go back to where learners should start their journey to becoming fluent. The syllable is the basic unit of pronunciation and in this video I'm going to look at how learners must count the number of syllables that they see written in words so they can decide on how many sounds are in each word. If the syllables aren't counted correctly your spoken English won't be understood by listeners. So we know that the vowels A, E, I, O and U are the five vowel letters and that syllables are the sounds of these vowels. Some sounds use one vowel letter and others you use two vowel letters together. Also we use Y as a vowel at the end of words sometimes. So let's hear some words. We'll start with one syllable words. Okay number one I. This uses the vowel sound I. Number two my. This uses the consonant Y as a vowel sound I. Number three will. This uses the vowel letter I and the sound is I. And number four fun. This uses the vowel letter U and the sound is a. Uh. The five vowel letters A, E, I, O and U plus the use of Y as a vowel sound at the end of words amounts to about 20 vowels in total used in English speaking in most English accents. Okay, now let's move on to two syllable words. Example number one seven. This uses the letter E and it makes the sound E in the first syllable. In the second syllable it uses the letter E to make the vowel sound E. Uh. Example number two. Eighteen. This uses two vowel letters for the first syllable. E and I and the sound is A. The second syllable uses two E's and makes the sound E. Example three sentence. This has two syllables. The first is the letter E and the sound is E. The second syllable is also the letter E but the sound the vowel sound is E. Uh. The third E is silent. It has no sound. Okay so let's move on to three syllable words. Here are two examples. Number one important. The first syllable uses the letter I and makes the sound I. The second syllable uses O and the sound is O. The third syllable uses the letter A and the sound is U. Uh, a very short sound. Number two, passenger. It has three syllables. The first syllable uses A and sounds like 
a. The second syllable uses letter e and makes the sound e. Uh. And the third syllable uses e uh again for the letter e. Okay, finally I want to look at four syllable words. The example is identity. It has four syllables. The first syllable is I and we say the sound I. The second syllable is the letter E and we say the sound E. The third syllable is the letter I but it sounds like I. And the fourth syllable uses the consonant Y and it sounds the same I again. So that's it for part one. Comments and questions please send to me. You can send them at my email address which is astahugo99 at gmail.com or you can send me comments at my Facebook page. I have two I have my personal page, John Vickery, and my business page, which is John Vickery at My Passions, English Teaching, Music and Movies. Or you can uh, get hold of me at YouTube, on my YouTube channel, John Vickery. Or, finally, at my website. Now, my website address has changed. I have a new website address and it's http colon slash slash learning English speaking skills dot com. Okay.